It's a humble creature. It's a majestic creature. The oldest drawings of camel in the region dates back to the fourth millennium PC. See the wonders of the creation of the camel. It's the only animal that help us survive in this region. Watch something unique as a camel racing. Allah yahyikum, balgula, hayakum. Connect with nature, culture, and heritage and art. Yahala, yahala, yahala. It's a life-changing experience. From the moment you land until you leave, you're gonna take a journey through time, and it's a connection between the young generation and the old at the same time. A fast-growing sport that everyone from all over the world can enjoy. The miracle of camel racing has arrived! Welcome to Saudi Arabia for the inaugural Camel Cup hosted by the Royal Commission of Al Ula at this state-of-the-art venue. Thank you to Sulaiman, our guide and our Rawi, who will be with us throughout the show. With a grand prize pot of 80 million Saudi Arabian Riyals, the Al Ula Camel Cup is the pinnacle of the Saudi Arabian camel racing season. Each day showcases a different kind of race, testing the speed, strength, and endurance of these remarkable ships of the desert. Camel racing remains a vital part of the kingdom's national identity, heritage, and culture. At the end of the week, two champions will be crowned. They will receive priceless specially designed trophies crafted from hallmark sterling silver and 24 karat gold plate, meticulously created by the skilled craftsman at Thomas Lake. It is absolutely stunning to see four key elements introduced. When you look at the top of the bowl, there is the triangles that are featured on Hegra antiquity. There is also the speed of the camels communicated through the stunning swirling handles. If you look closely, you'll see beautiful engraving that is the timeless movement of the sand dunes within Arabia. And indeed, how could we miss the rock art? You will see beautiful pieces of rock art emulated throughout the trophy. This is truly a Lula presented in silver. We used to call the camels the ship of the desert because it's the only creature who can navigate this region with minimum water. It's our only transportation. The camels were in the heart of the trade. It helped us navigate and also to travel between the regions of the Arabian Peninsula. So the development of the heart of the region came from the camel itself. As the tradition of camel racing is being preserved, it's also flourishing in modern Saudi Arabia. The use of advanced technology and training techniques have enhanced safety, and the Saudi Camel Racing Federation has set strict rules and regulations to ensure the welfare of the camels before, during, and after races. Our first track action features robot jockeys racing in the Hagayig and Ligaya categories. The robot jockeys are radio controlled by their trainers from the vehicles following alongside the racetrack. The trainers can use the whip fixed to the robots, which also have an audio facility for the vocal encouragement. <laughs> 
Twelve camels line up for the first of four races on day two of the prestigious Al Ula Camel Cup. We joined this race, the Hegayeg Becker, for two and three year old female camels towards the end of the four kilometers. After an unexplained refusal from the leading camel, victory went to Gesayed from the United Arab Emirates, owned by Hamid Sayed Al Mansuri, who takes the prize fund of 3.5 million Saudi rials. صراحة مهرجان رائع وعالي المستوى الصراحة في في فترة وجيزة انجز في شهرين وحطوا جوائز قيمة ما ما استوت الجوائز هاي ولا انحطت في الخليج أول مرة تنحط في الخليج. The second race, the Hagaya Quidan, for male camels two and three years of age, attracted 14 competitors. Four camels break away from the rest of the field. A great battle developed for the lead. Al Faisal for the UAE, owned by Mohammed Abdullah Al Murami, proved too strong for the chasers, securing first place. Third place went to Jenkis, owned by His Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Saud, his first podium of the day. ليش الجمل شيء غالي على قلوبكم؟ والله غالي وغلاته طال عمرك مثل غلات عيالنا. غزر غزر. In race three there was a step up in distance and age. The five kilometer Lagaya Becca for three and four year old females was an opportunity for His Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Saud to improve on his earlier third place, seen here in green. In the final kilometre, it turned into a two camel race to delight the crowds, giving the closest finish of the day. His Highness's camel Al Yamama taking victory in the final strides. والله الحمد لله رب العالمين الشعور طال عمرك لا يوصف وهذا شيء يعني لنا شيء كثير الفوز نفس الفوز الليلة في العلاء وفي نحن طال عمرك نمثل مملكتنا العربية السعودية ونهدي الناموس هذا طال عمرك لخادم الحرمين الشريفين الملك سلمان بن عبد العزيز صلى الله يطول عمره وولي عهده الأمير محمد بن سلمان ولي سيدي صاحب السمو الملك الأمير عبد العزيز بن سعود بن نايف صاحب الإمامة وصاحب هذا الشعار والداعم طال عمرك the last race on day two of the inaugural Al Ula Camel Cup was the five kilometer Lagaya Quidan for three and four year old male camels, which attracted the largest field of the day. Local Camel Monjis was the long time leader, only to be overwhelmed by the great stamina of Haladaf of the United Arab Emirates, who timed his run to perfection, claiming victory with just meters to go in the ownership of Ahmed Matar Al Kili.
كيف النسخة هذه التنظيم المعمار في هذه المدينة التاريخية؟ الحمد لله رب مهرجان لا يعلى عليه تنظيم على مستويات اللهم لك الحمد والشكر ولا يستغرب من حكومة السعودية على مك تنظيم مثل هالمهرجان. شو إنجازاتكم السابقة في مهرجانات أخرى؟ والله الحمد لله عندنا انجازات كثيره، عندنا انجازات في قطر، عندنا انجازات في الكويت، القعود هذا سابق في الكويت ما اخذ رمز. حضر مع الهداف. After an exciting day of racing, invited guests enjoyed a captivating ceremony and dinner underneath the stars. First edition of an Ola's Camel Cup. Thank you. The Lula Camel Cup, this is a celebration. Being in Saudi with my friends and them watching camel races, we're one big family and I'm just happy to be a part of the culture. والله بالنسبة لطباعي انطباع جدا جميل في هذا المهرجان والكرنفال الجميل جدا جميل وكان تنظيم جدا رائع. Everybody's happy, everybody's excited. There's all kinds of different vibes. Absolutely beautiful. I saw it on Instagram. I was like, wow, where is this place? So it was in our Ula and here we are. مهرجان عالمي. كل المؤسسات الموجودة على هجن العاصفة، هجن الشحنية، هجن الشوخ كلها موجودة. الأمير عبد العزيز بن فهد. مضمرين ملاك عمالقة من السعودية وبرا السعودية متواجدة. Everyone's really friendly. It's so easy. The camel races happen to be on, which is even more fantastic. This passion comes from wanting to learn about other cultures. They said that if you got into the camel racing, you will you will have the first American team in the federation's history. It's really well organized. There's great music, loving the shops, and it's just a nice social vibe. A lot of good, fun people. Two champions will be crowned later in the program and be awarded with these two beautiful trophies. The stunning Alula Camel Cup took approximately 320 hours, which combined traditional skills with leading edge modern methods. With manufacturing this trophy itself, there are a lot of challenging aspects to it because it involves nearly all the aspects of silversmithing. So you've got casting, we've got the 3D printing, we have chasing, all the engraving, spinning, things that are hand hammered to shape. So we need to look at each part individually and see how that's gonna work with the piece next to it. Isn't that wonderful? It is really a reflection of what is happening in Alula today. Antiquity and modernity. And indeed, it's been the inspiration behind the design of the trophy. Each trophy took approximately 40 hours of polishing. So that's 80 in total. We basically have the trophies come through their own workshop, through the silversmiths and come to us. Now when they get to us, they're quite dull. They've been through the forge, they've been filed, etc. And we, as polishers, have to take them from like an 80 grit sandpaper right round to a 5,000 to 7,000 sandpaper. So it becomes nice and highly polished and we get to a mirror finish on it. When we finally finish all the pieces and they've all been into the polishers and they've been gold plated, we then have it back and I'll then start assembling. This is truly a Lula presented in silver. We look at our trophies at the end when it's all put together and we have a sense of pride. You can stand back and look at this piece and go that looks amazing and you know that we all have put our heart into it. Each trophy individually is unique. These are world class. Grammy award winning music producer Swiss Beats also known as Qasim Abu Nasser, supported his Saudi Bronx racing team from the Royal Box on day three. 
المركز الثاني الشرود والمركز الثالث كاسيم ابو ناسر's entry is in contention at the midway of the 6 km Giza Bakra race for 4 and 5 year old female camels The first race on day 3 of the inaugural Al Ula Camel Cup got the competition off to an exciting start producing the closest of finishes with the UAE and Qatar battling for the lead in front of the beautiful and historic Al Ula landscape, the winner of the three and a half million Saudi Arabian Riel was only decided as they crossed the line. It was the UAE's Al Fiba who took the spoils for owner Mohammed Sultan Al Ketbi and a great second and third place for Qatari owner Hessian Al Shahania. Alhamdulillah, we have been able to do the same thing with the United States. We have been able to do this whole thing and we have been able to do this whole thing and we have been able to do this whole thing. Do you not follow the Hijan? Yes. Do you not follow the Hijan? No, all the Hijan that we have been able to do. كيف كانت المشاركة في هذا المضمار؟ كيف شفت العلا؟ الله العلا ما شاء الله تطور فيها مش عادي والجوائز قيمة توصل أول مرة في سباقات الهجن مثل كذي. Congratulations to uh, the Lula Camel Cup first annual race. Um, my camel team uh, Saudi Bronx was able to participate, which is an amazing uh, achievement. We came in fifth place today, top five. I'm not mad at that. Alhamdulillah. And um, it's just amazing to be here. Alula is my second home to myself and my family. Uh, I'm here a lot. يقدم لنا والم بن مرخان الصعب الذي أطلق عليه لقب الصعب نعم Race 2, another 6 km competition this time the Giza Quidan for 4 and 5 year old male camels produced a level contest until the final 2 km when a breakaway group of 5 camels heightened the excitement for the following fans الأمتار الأخيرة الله 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 انطلق بن جابر ولكن مذع مذعور وهجن زعبيل مع الواضح 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 واصل واصل مع الامتار الاخيره As some of the quintet faded the strength and depth of the stamina of the UAE entry Al-Wagi came to the fore who went away from the field to win by a clear two seconds making it a one-two for the United Arab Emirates with owner Hessian Zabil taking the winner's prize والله الحمد لله هذا صراحة فرح وشعور لا يوصف وصولا لعلا هذا أكبر نامو سنا إحنا كيف شفتوا المضمار من متى تجهزون وشو إنجازاتكم السابقة والله الحمد لله كانت مشاركاتنا قوية صدنا الرموز في كل الدول ولكن هاي الدولة غالية وصراحة أشكرهم على هذا النظام واللي أبهرنا وصراحة نحس عمارنا الحمد لله يعني في مكان والله نحمد الله عليه Race 3 saw a step up in distance and age 13 entries started in the 8 km Thania Bekra for 5 and 6 year old females Qatar showed their strength in this category with Shadeda setting the early pace and maintaining pole position from start to finish holding off a late challenge from stablemate Wessan A tremendous top 2 podium finish for owner Heshan Al Shahania proudly flying the flag for Qatar جديدة جديدة وسام الحمد لله يعني لا شيء كثير المهرجان هذا مهرجان يحمل سمو العهد الأمير محمد بن سلمان آل سعود والله الجوائز ما قد صارت في ولا مهرجان قبل لا في السعودية ولا في قطر ولا في الإمارات المهرجان هذا استثنائي في كل شيء لا من جوائز لا من ترتيب لا من تنظيم لا من منصات لا من لجنة استثنائي في كل شيء ما شاء الله عليهم ما قصروا الجماعة عز الله إلى ما 
مقدمة الشوط إلى المركز الأول يا سلام يا هدار It was the male camels that took center stage in race four, the eight kilometer Thania Quidan for five and six year olds. بن محمد آل هيان ولكن مهند ولكن مهند الله يا مهند After a UAE duel between Ursel and Mohanid, it was an incredible performance from Mohanid, who turned the race into a procession. Victorious in a comfortable, relaxed manner, with a 13-second lead, the largest winning margin of the meeting. For owner Hamid Rashid Hamid Al Ketbi, it was the first of what was to become two historic days for the United Arab Emirates Al Ketbi stable. هذه هي النسخة الأولى والوحيدة في دول الخليج بهذه الضخامة من كانت من الجوائز أو ما بقول لك العداد لا النخبة اليوم هني متواجدة النخبة يعني الشوط محصور بالنخبة اللي فاز الأول ثاني ثالث في الرموز الأشواط الباقية أي حد بيشارك يشارك تقن أعداد 40 50 30 هني ما حد يتأهل وتهني تقارع الكبار ولا تنسحب منك من من بداية المشهد وتروح in addition to spectacular racing, visitors of the first Al Ula Camel Cup will enjoy a unique fusion of experiences. Modern with ancient, culture with sports, all combining to celebrate Kingdom's heritage. بالنسبة للأزياء أنا بالنسبة لي العشق شغف أنا أحب الأزياء وأحب التصاميم عامة والفنون عامة حبيت إني أحافظ على التراث وأطور فيه يعني يكون في قطع مبتكرة أنا تصاميم مبتكرة وشاملة جميع مناطق المملكة والعالم بالنسبة للقطع التراثية في المملكة عامة اللون الأساسي الأسود والأبيض لأن الأساس الأساس في التراث السعودي التطريز والكلف في اللون الأسود السادة أو الأبيض السادة هو اللي يبرز الجمالية في دقة التطريز في الألوان يبرزها أكثر ولكن رغم يعني تعرفين أنت توسع العالم وفتح العالم على بعض وحبهم للتراث يعني حبيت أدمج وحبيت أدخل ألوان وحبيت أدخل التشجيرات واللي هو في الأساس الأسود والأبيض اللون السادة السياح هم يحبون الوان يحبون ما يحبون غالبا ما يحبون الاسود انا عشقي اني اكون في العلا واعتليت بوجودي بالعلا فعلا يعني انا حلمي اني اوصل للعلا والحمد لله والعلا بالنسبه لي علو وحلم والحمد لله اتحقق Than 40 of the region's finest racing camels are here, competing for the honor of being crowned champions in the biggest two races of the week. See the wonders of the creation of the camel. When you see them starting the race, it's a majestic look to see. You see people excited and the owners are following them and when you see two camels, one of them is running, you will see the others following them and trying to beat it. They are motivating each other in the race itself. Day four of the richest camel racing week ever seen saw the pinnacle of the sport played out against the stunning backdrop of Al Ula at the inaugural Camel Cup. After a tough qualification process, the finest racing camels take to the stage in Al Ula. Two eight kilometer championship races, two priceless trophies, two prize pots totaling 24 million Saudi Arabian rial.
ولكن صاحب المضمرين. The Zimul race for male camels six years and over was the first of the two contests. صايب 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 التنافس ما بين أبناء دولة الإمارات أبناء المملكة العربية السعودية وأبناء دولة قطر لمن كأس العلا للزمول لمن السبع مليون ونصف المليون لمن هذا الحدث التاريخي لمن هذا الإنجاز الكبير مبهر الإنجازات مبهر الجماهير حمد بن راشد بن مدير Qatar, the United Arab Emirates and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia had the first three camels, the main contenders, in the final kilometer, showcasing the world-class purpose-built facility. It was Mabur for the UAE that triumphed, for Hamid Rashid Hamid al Ketbi. The first of two championship victories for the dominating United Arab Emirates Al Ketbi family. أكبر ذكرى طبعاً هل 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 الكاسات هذه الذكرى لهذه الأرض طيبة ولا الحمد لله على هذا الإنجاز اللي نحن ما تحققنا فيه الشيء الثاني طبعاً من شاهدي هذا الإنجاز الكبير لدولة الإمارات. The Al Kepi brothers' second win came in the final race of the week, the eight-kilometer hail for females, a runaway victory for Fabrica. أصلنا وتراثنا أبانا وأجدادنا وتراث دولتنا هذا اللي ما نقدر نقول حنا نحرص أن أنا 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 مالك خيل أنا ما أخذت قربات وين في 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 أوروبا وليه الحد الآن أنا عندي خيل في 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 أوروبا ويصير في وزن بس هذه هذه أصالتنا حد عن 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 تنازع عن أصالته وتراثه وماضيه. هذا اللي علموا قادتنا شيوخنا الله طول عمرهم ان كان في هنا وان كان في دول الخليج هذا مثل الشيء شرفكم عرضه كان يسمى التنازل فيه ونحن ما بنتنازل فيه وبنعلم على اولادنا وعيالنا وبنموروث يتصل بالعائله كلها الى مرغم الى الاشقاء يحضرون يبدعون Congratulations to the Al Kepi brothers on becoming the champion of champions and taking home these iconic Al Ula Camel Cup trophies. Thank you to everyone who came to attend the important and unique event. For me, I'm honored that everyone came to Al Ula to witness this amazing race and this amazing event. Congratulations to all the winners at the first ever Al-Ula Camel Cup. See you next year.